Hello Pisces, welcome to Brutal Jew Tarot and this reading is from 25th of December to 31st of December. So let's check what are the messages for you and uh, what you can expect in this week in love. Messages for Pisces. Eight of Swords. Two of Pentacles. King of Swords. Strength. And Five of Wands. Okay. So here we have Eight of Swords. Pisces, many of you might be feeling that you have trusted the wrong person because this person may seem strange nowadays. We have this Two of Pentacles. So on this card, we have this snake shedding its skin. So it's about some kind of deeper secret that's coming out. Some kind of... Um, hidden side that you would get to see and uh, you may not like it. You may have this feeling that this person made some false promises or they were pretending to be who they are. And um, I don't see it coming from them directly. I don't see it happening um, um, openly. We have this eight of swords. So could be about some kind of rumors or could be about something that you may hear about them from someone else and um, that will bother you that will make you question them or that will um, make you feel like you need to clear something and if you ask them or if you question them you may see that this person is avoiding your question they are trying to divert the conversation to Somewhere else, this person is simply trying to get rid of um, your questions and they might even make you feel like you are just being too suspicious, you are being too doubtful and you shouldn't listen to other people. But at the same time, you may feel like this person is actually hiding something. This person may annoy you with their behavior so much so that you will lose your patience. And that is not easy, Pisces. You people are really patient and you people have got a lot of strength. You people know how to make things work and uh, you people don't lose patience easily. So with this King of Swords, I see that this person may drive you crazy and you would come to a point where you would feel like now it's time to get your answers. If you can't get them, this relationship is not worth staying. This relationship is not something you should be in. So we have this card of strength here. Pisces Tarot is telling you, you need to be strong. You need to be yourself no matter what others are telling you, no matter what this person is trying to make you believe. If your intuition is telling you, you need to say something or you need to do something, go ahead. Because uh, a lot of things depend on your approach towards this situation. Okay. We also have this uh, five of wands here. So with this five of wands. Okay. We also have the seven of pentacles in reverse. So with this five of wands tarot is telling you that you are powerful enough to control any situation. You can definitely... Um, get things according to you so at this point it is about controlling something or someone but here in this reading i see it as you getting a hold of something or you catching something so maybe there could be something that um, will come to the surface and you would feel like now you get this person this is them or they are hiding something from you something will be really loud and clear 
and you would want to know what it's about, you may ask questions and this person, instead of giving explanation, would try to blame you, would try to make you feel like you are just being too doubtful and you are insecure. So, since Seven of Pentacles is in reverse, Tarot is telling you you shouldn't wait anymore because you have waited already so much that you are um, on the verge already. Pisces, this is something that needs to be very clear because uh, um, I see that you people are constantly wondering about what could happen next and who this person is. This person may seem like a total stranger and you won't know how to react, how to deal with it. And at the same time, you may feel like this person has turned deaf to your voice and uh, they are not listening to what you are saying. So it's time to um, sort out a lot of things and that is not going to be easy at this point. But anyways, you have got the strength to uh, face whatever is coming next. Of course, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for your Pisces. The Hermit. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The World. And Eight of Wands. Also, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So here we have this Hermit. With this hermit, this is about um, getting to know the inner self. This is about some kind of spiritual journey. So this is triggering you to look into the details. Whatever is happening right now, universe is trying to get your attention. And um, it's about getting into details. Also, this is about your higher self, your own soul that needs your attention that is trying to remind you that you are not alone. Okay, maybe with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, you might be feeling that you are alone and uh, nobody understands you. Nothing is going to change the situation and you won't be able to uh, find love. But this is not true. Your higher self is telling you that things are actually working in your favor because this person... Um, who you thought was a blessing is actually not trustable. We have this nine of pentacles in reverse. So this could be about something that you asked for and you got it. And um, now you feel like this person is not meant for you or they're not the right one for you. Because we have this card of world. So with this world, Tara is trying to remind you that things are moving and um, this too shall pass. So probably many of you are in a situation where you don't know where things are going. But do not worry. Your heart self, the universe knows it and you are protected. So accept this change and go with the change. And in the end, we have this eight of wands here. So Pisces, you might be dealing with someone who has got a really interesting personality. They are charming. They are seductive. They can uh, cast a spell. I mean, not literally, but this person can definitely um, keep you engaged for a very long time when they talk or when they um, say something. So this is about um, knowing that whatever you like may not be whatever you want. Okay, this is the time where you should be very aware of their intentions because with this eight of wands, this could be someone who sees you um, as perfection. They definitely think that you can give them whatever they want. But again, this person is not serious. They might not be showing you their full personality. And a lot of things are going to come to the surface in this way. Okay, so let's check an oracle message for you.
Radha, Soul Flame. Rediscover a lost part of yourself, experience a relationship, harmony and healing. So maybe many of you have ignored your soul so much so that you might feel like someone has taken away a part of your soul. It's time to get that peace back. It's time to get some relief and um, it's time to rediscover yourself. And most importantly, you need to experience relationship harmony and healing within yourself. Okay, it's about your spirit and your body, your spirit and your mind. So it's time to create a balance between these things so that you can experience happiness and healing. So this was the reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.